Here's the theoretical probability for the results when you flip four coins. So here we have random.org coin flipper. If you flip four coins, uh, let's see what happens. Okay, we got one tail, three heads, so that means x equals three. X is the number of heads. So how can you figure out the probability of getting three heads or two heads or zero heads or whatever? So what you can do is list out all the combinations. This we'll call this the brute force method here. So you can just make a tree diagram like this. The, when you flip the first coin, it could be heads or tails. And then when you flip the second coin, coin could be heads or tails, or down here, heads or tails. So out of out of the two coins, uh, you can have heads, heads, or heads, tails, or tails, heads, tails, tails, and keep going and so on and so on and so on. To save a little bit of time, I did this already. So here's here's the full tree diagram. Uh, and so there's 16 combinations because uh, there's four coins. Every time you flip a coin, there's two possibilities. And then when you flip the second coin, there's two possibilities. Third coin, two possibilities. Fourth coin, two possibilities. Multiply them all together. So there's 16 combinations. And here they are. Now let's um, have a nice display. So here's the, the 16 combinations right here. So let's take a look at this first possible combinations here. Four heads in a row. So that would be x equals four right there. So there's only one way to get four. Let's make this a little thicker here. So you can say the probability that x equals four is one out of 16. Okay, what's the probability of getting three? Probability of x equaling three. Well, just count how many combinations there are where you have three heads. So here's one. There's three heads. Uh, three, I'll write three right there. Here's another one with three heads. Heads, heads, tails, heads. Uh, let's see, another one with three. Here's one with three heads. Right there. And um, here we go. Tails, heads, heads, heads. Okay, so, and that's it. There's four ways to get three heads, one tail. So that would be the probability of getting three heads is four out of 16. All right, what's the probability of getting two? Two heads. Um, let's switch colors so we can see this a little better. So here's one where you have two heads. That's one, two, three. All right, here's one, four, five. Um, there should be one more. I'm missing one somewhere. Two heads. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I missed that one. Okay, so there's six ways. So the probability of getting two heads is six out of 16. Probability of getting, let's go back to, to black. Right, let, let's go to green now. So the probability of getting three heads, excuse me, we, we did that one. One. Probability of getting one. One head. Uh, there should be four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so four out of 16. And then the last one, probability of X being zero, being no heads, in other words, four tails in a row, there's only one, so one out of 16. Okay, so there's all the probabilities all together. And then you can make a table out of it, um, but that, that's how you can compute the theoretical probabilities. That's it.